So one of the things when I was looking at purchasing a dark horse that I really wanted on mine is to have the handling pack because I really liked the way that that splitter and the rear spoiler on the handling pack equipped cars look like. Uh, however, I did get the front lip from the handling pack. It's like a thousand bucks from Ford, kind of crazy because there's no other options out there as far as maybe like some cheaper companies making that, that like similar part. Uh, and the same held true for the rear wing as well on the handling pack cars. So I think, I don't know, it's, it's some crazy number as far as how much it costs if you were to buy that, that wing OEM. Like it'll bolt right on, but it's like thousands and thousands of dollars. It's just ridiculous, right? So I've been waiting for an aftermarket company to go ahead and release the handling pack wing <clears throat> and maybe just make like a clone version of it. Uh, the other day I was scrolling on Facebook in an S650 group and I came across a post where they linked this product over on eBay and uh, it was the Dark Horse handling pack rear spoiler or wing. Uh, so I immediately purchased it I kind of thought it was too good to be true. I was kind of assuming that the quality of it was not going to be great at all, considering it's only $189. Uh, but I was actually very, very surprised when it came in. And I'm going to show you guys here in a second what it looks like on the car. And we'll, we'll kind of go over the quality and, and all that stuff here in a second. But was super, super excited about that. Uh, it's just kind of interesting that none of these aftermarket companies are really coming out with parts. And as soon as somebody did, it's immediately sold out. Um, so I'll leave the links down below to the listing over on eBay. And hopefully you could try to grab one once they come in stock available. Maybe if you just save that, that, uh, that product listing, you can have access to it when they, when, they, uh, when they restock. But as of right now, recording this on the 10th, it is currently out of stock unfortunate but i think that they are kind of gauging interest for it and then pushing it out as uh they're getting stuff in stock but nonetheless it's uh it's pretty good uh, but before we go ahead and check that out i wanted to give you guys a quick update on where we're at with the supercharger for the dark horse and then also i don't think i've shown you guys the new wheel and tire setup so i want to show you guys those there are the stock wheels and tires over there i think what we went with turned out really, really good. So uh, let's go check those out right now. Now, when I initially purchased the Whipple kit, I did go with the stage one package from Lethal Performance. And the kind of, the thought process behind that one was that I was gonna be able to, to retain like that, that three year, 36,000 mile uh, powertrain warranty. Um, however, since then, just thinking about it, I mean, I purchased it back in April, maybe two weeks later, I went and changed the order just because I knew that I'd probably end up upgrading to the stage two kit in the future, just based on how I like to mod vehicles. So in the sake of saving money, just, I mean, it's probably going to be cheaper just to upgrade right away to the stage two kit. It's, a, it's essentially the same price from the stage one with the factory warranty to the stage two kit but you get the bigger throttle body and bigger injectors, all the things that uh, encompass the stage two kit. So that's what I did. I went and changed the order. Uh, Whipple told me, I think they gave me a timeline uh, or lethal performance rather, gave me a timeline of six to eight weeks. Uh, so I went ahead and scheduled the install for the 2nd of July. Um, and I called, let's see, I called lethal performance a few weeks before that in June and they let me know that the, the Whipple would not be shipping until June 28th. So I made some adjustments on the install date. Um, however, the 28th of June came and went, contacted Lethal Performance and they let me know that they were about a week and a half behind. So, you know, that puts us today is July 10th and I have the install scheduled for the 29th of this month. So the 29th of July. So hopefully we get that kit in and we can get it on the car. I've also made some adjustments on what we're also going to be doing during the current install scheduled for the 29th. Um, we are going to be doing the Cook's uh, catted green headers or green catted headers, however you want to say it. And then we're also going to be doing the boundary billet oil pump gears as well during that install. I just figure I want to kind of future proof the car. 
Um, even though it should be okay, I just want to mitigate any risk moving down the line when we're adding a bunch of horsepower to the car. And that gives us the freedom to be able to play around with some pulleys and do some different things as far as fueling goes. So that's pretty exciting. Um, one thing that I do want to do also is potentially looking into upgrading the axles and then also the, uh, the drive shaft as well. Um, I've priced those out. They're kind of expensive. Axles are around $2,000 plus another $1,000 for the DSS uh, aluminum one-piece drive shaft. So how about like, I don't know, $3,500 in total after taxes for both of those pieces. So that's where we're at as far as the Whipple is concerned. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because that Whippled content is gonna be coming very, very soon. Uh, I'm super excited about it, uh, but let's go ahead and, uh, and go check out the wheels and tire setup that I currently have on the car. I think it looks really, really good. Now you might think that these wheels look a little familiar and, uh, and you would be correct. So this is a design that Velgen has. Um, this is a design that I really liked. I thought would look really, really good on the S650, especially a dark horse with these big brakes. I think it gives a nice open view of the big Brembos. Uh, but when it comes to the Velgen wheels, the reason why I didn't go with those is because they are not fully forged one-piece wheels. I believe they are what they call flow forged. Um, so I actually have a friend here in town locally that does custom offset wheels. So basically I just sent him the design of these Velgen wheels and he redesigned them with my specs. So to kind of give you guys an idea of the specs here, we went with a 20 by 10 in the front with a plus 35 offset. We're running the Nitto NT triple five G2s up front in a 275 35 R20. Uh, and then here in the rear, we are running a 20 by 11 with a plus 55 offset. And the fitment is really, really good. Uh, it's like perfect if you ask me. Yeah. And the tires that we're running back here, NT triple fives, these are the R2 version, so the radial version in the rear. Fingers crossed that we have some traction when we get that Whipple installed and we're, we're pushing some boost. But yeah, these wheels and tires came out freaking amazing. I'll give you guys an idea of what the fitment looks like in the front. So again, pretty, pretty good fitment front and rear. I'm very, very happy with the way that they came out and how it looks on the car overall. So let's jump into this handling pack spoiler. So jumping into this wing here, as you can see from the rear, it looks exactly like a handling pack car, that, that rear wing at least. The only, other, the only main difference that I've noticed is this gurney flapped. It is just like a smoked clear. And the hardware on the gurney flap itself is silver. So I'll probably paint the hardware black just to kind of hide it a little bit. But as you can see, the fitment here is pretty good. Sorry about the tail lights there, but fitment's good all the way across. It was super easy to install. Now, if you are somebody that doesn't already have a performance pack wing on your car, you might have to drill holes. I don't know what that looks like, but for me taking off the like stock factory wing, I didn't have to, to drill any holes. Let me open the trunk here for you so you can kind of see what that looks like from the bottom side. Now, when you get this, this rear wing in, it comes in a bunch of different parts. You kind of have to, to Lego piece it together. But once you do that, it comes with some 3M tape. You take the the uh, the OEM spoiler off the car and I just use let me see if I have it here yeah so I have one of these 3M rubber wheels to get the excess um, glue or the tape that's holding on the stock splitter or the stock spoiler get that off and uh, that that definitely does a great job at helping it and it kind of doesn't really mess up your paint um, <clears throat> I would recommend uh, if you have the stock performance pack rear wing that you get some fishing line tape around the uh, like where the stock one is 
and then use that fishing line to essentially back and forth and break up the tape that comes factory on it. It's kind of a pain to get off, but once you get it off, you can use that rubber wheel to get the rest of the uh, that 3M backing or that 3M tape off of the, uh, the trunk and then clean it up and you'll be good to go to mount that one, mount the new one. The bolts that I took out are just these ones here. And then if you remove this carpeting, it's just these push pins, they're really easy to take out. Remove the carpeting. There is one bolt in the middle that I removed as well. And then, like I said, you just use the fishing line to get the glue or the tape off, and then you'll be good to go. Now, when we talk about the, the finish of this, it is kind of unfinished in just this matte color. Uh, for me, I think it matches the car really well just because we have the, uh, well, we have the, the matte side mirrors, we have the plastic trim around the bottom, the front splitter as well, that is the handling pack splitter. But as you can see, man, it looks really, really good. I'm super happy about it for only 189 bucks. You really can't beat that. But there's probably some things you could do. You could probably paint this if you wanted to. You could probably wrap it, PPF it. Uh, what I'm going to do is if you watched my video where I ceramic coated this car, we did go ahead and put a ceramic coating specifically designed for trim on all the trim pieces around the car. I'm probably going to apply that same coating to the rear wing and just see how that comes out. I'll probably do a little test spot underneath it to see if we're good to go and then I'll, I'll do the whole thing. But overall, I'm super happy with the, uh, with the quality. And now I know that, like I was saying earlier, it's gonna be kind of hard to get them as of right now, but over the next couple of weeks, I'm sure that they'll probably be getting a lot more in stock. Now, when I did put it on, I had a little bit of an issue with this center piece not touching down all the way. Uh, but once I got the 3M tape on there and I was able to like apply some pressure from this point or from the top of the wing, I was able to get that to, uh, to stick right on there, put it out in the sun for a little bit and uh, let that tape kind of do its thing. But yeah, overall, I think it looks crazy. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Is this something that you're going to add on your S650? And it's so crazy, man, because there's not a whole lot of, uh, of aftermarket spoilers, splitters, things like that on the market. There's only a couple companies that offer them, and they're insanely priced. So uh, I was very happy to find something like this and be able to throw it on the dark horse. Well guys, that's going to do it for our video today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you got a little bit of value and hopefully I helped you out with, uh, with finding that, uh, that rear wing there from the Dark Horse handling pack or kind of like a clone of it. But we have a ton of more content coming. Uh, we're adding boost soon. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you got any value, like I said, if you could like the video, greatly appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one.